Hello, my persnickety viewers. This is your Duchess of Success, Savannah Land, and I want you to watch me turn my old grimy fireplace from this to this. So this is my fireplace. My house was built in 2003, and I moved here in February of 2004. And this was the same tile that was in here. It was all over the houses, in the kitchen, the bathrooms, um, on the fireplace. It was the same tile on the countertops that was in the home whenever I first bought it. And I was going to put marble on it. But then I would have to hire someone to do that uh, because I didn't want to uh, take on a project like that. And I've never done that before, you know, like tearing things out. So I decided, hmm, let me do some research on painting tile and see what I get. So that's what I did. I decided to... Um, Look into painting tile. Now, the first thing I use is crud cutter. I love crud cutter. I use it for everything to clean. Crud cutter can get tape off of mirrors and uh, grime off, off of floors, paint off of floors. Like crud cutter is the bomb. I actually uh, bought my crud cutter from uh, a dirt cheap building supply in Madison. Um, and, and I used Bull's Eye water-based multi-purpose primer. So I am primed. This is where I primed the uh, fireplace. Uh, if you can see, I also put my blue tape along the um, black part because I didn't want to get any primer on there. But yeah, first I primed the fireplace and there's my bullseye showing you that I used my bullseye um, water-based primer by Zinser is really good but yeah that's what I used to prime the fireplace and this was only one coat I only used one coat of primer for um, for that area I am about to um, go ahead and paint my fireplace and I am going to use this ultimate semi gloss. Um, I am using this for all of my trim in my house. I want my fireplace to be uh, kind of shiny and glossy so I'm using that. Um, I bought this from Dirt cheap. Okay, it's like $79 yeah, I for a decided to paint the bucket. trim as well and, um, as the tile. And so, since this is a budget project, you know, um, we're just gonna see how long it lasts. Okay, so this is like a better um, glimpse of the difference in the color. Yeah, you can you can see a difference way better. It's a dramatic difference between the two. Okay. We back. And here is the final result. I'm going to decorate it later since it's Christmas time. Yeah, this is the final result. Let's get a little bit closer. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. I think it's gorgeous. 
fresh and gorgeous. I did not, if you notice, um, I did not do the inside, inside the cabinet yet, or inside that little opening. I didn't do that. Um, that is something that I will do at a later time. Um, I just really wanted to do the outside first. Because my real goal was to actually paint the tile. Um, but then as I was painting the tile, I said I wanted to go ahead and paint the trim. And so, and then as I was painting the trim, I said, well, I have to paint the doors. And um, so I will get to that as an, at another time because I got to clean that really, really well and clean the inside really well. But yeah. I'm loving it. And this is the finished product after everything has been decorated. I love the results. I really liked uh, that ultimate white semi-gloss paint that uh, it was contractor's grade that I bought from dirt cheap building supply so let's tally up the cost of everything for the zinser bullseye primer i got it from home depot it was like 19 dollars uh for the ultimate white semi-gloss paint that i use for the ceramic tile and the trim the five gallon bucket was 79 dollars and I only used a little bit of it, maybe not even a whole pint. Um, and the same thing for the Zenser Bullseye, only used like one tray full. So yeah, um, both of those were really, really inexpensive. I paid like $5 for the crud cutter and I used the rust and Wax Solid Elite Sealer to seal my ceramic tile. So, um... In all, I spent anywhere from five to 20 bucks if you were to take, you know, uh, the little measurements or whatever. It'd probably be about anywhere from five to 20 bucks for this project. Uh, most of it was elbow grease and time. So, um, if you guys would please uh, like and subscribe, hit the like button, subscribe to my page, and come back and watch. Um, this is Prishnickety TV. I am the Duchess of Success, Savannah Lynn. Thank you for watching.